Now we need to do this. Our first activity is to read a CMA file. All right. I already have the example data, so don't worry. I'll show you where it is. All right. So you need to read a CMA file. Now with CMA files, you can read it from a local PC. Or you can also read it from a remote server. For this story, I already have an example data, which is here. Let's go there. I think I'll show it here. I had already opened it. Let's just look at it here. Yeah, so this is the example data we will use. I will leave the link to this report in the description box. Okay, so I repeat, I will leave the link to this page in the description so that you can get this file. You can download or you can also leave it and then just check it out later. So before we read it, let's open it to see the content of this file. So there's it. Now this file contains some model performance. I ran some machine learning tasks. I was comparing the performance of the models. So I have these models here. So there's an ensemble model, a collection of models, and these are single classifiers. All right. So it was a classification tax and I've got all these. All right. And then I also have the evaluation metrics. All right. So I have accuracy, precision, recall, left one score, coin, kappa score, Matthews correlation coefficient. So these are all metrics that you can use to evaluate a machine learning classifier. All right. So these are their respective scores. And we also have the machine learning models. I put this one is an ensemble. It's a collection of models. And then this one up to this one, these are individual classifiers. All right. So for now, you don't need to understand the contents. The focus here is to show you how to read files using Panda. So you can always come back later to explore and this data. But I thought I will give a brief, a brief description. Okay. So that you will know what we are about to do. So this is the data itself. Now, you can download data all right, by coming to RAW and then clicking it to save it. But with Pandas, you don't necessarily need to have the file on your PC. All right? You can use a link. So for me, I'm going to read it directly from my GitHub page. So I'll just right click this RAW and I'll go to copy link. All right? I just want the link. Alternatively, you can click on RAW. So when you click on RAW, it's going to appear like this and you can copy this link. All right, so this is the link that we are using. All right, so let's do this. Let's go back. Let's go back to this one. And then let's come back to our Python notebook. So we are going to read a file, all right? So if you want to read the file, we are reading a CSV file, by the way. You can first define the file, where it can be found. So I'll say CSV file, because I bring my quotes, double quotes, so I should have two of them and I will paste the file name there or the file link. In this case, it's a link. So I'm just going to paste the link there. All right. So this is just to define the file. Okay. So I'll define it now. All right. And I'm going to read it properly using pandas. All right. So if I want to read it, this is CSV file. It's a table format. All right. So in other words, it's going to be a data frame. So I'll say DF equals i'll say pd dot read csv and i'll specify the father csv file like this so this will read the file for me so let's execute the command all right so the file is going to be read all right now you see the star that means it's processing i was reading from the server so it will take some time but now it's done but if it's your local pc then it's going to be fast now it's done. We have read the file, so I'll use this opportunity to let you know how to explore data using pandas. All right. So I'll first do this df just to see the content. All right. So I have everything here. So I have the columns, model accuracy, etc. I also have this number. These numbers here, these are indexes. Okay. They are used to make queries. They give a kind of um, unique IDs for each entry. All right, for each of the rows. Okay, so for each of the rows, now for columns, you have the labels already, but for rows, it's also important to get labels. So these indexes will serve as labels. So they are unique. You can use them to make queries. All right, so these are numbers, but you can also use text or any other character of your choice. You will look at that as we proceed. All right, so that's it. Okay, there's a beginner's tutorial. So I will skip a lot of details. It's just to give you an overview of the pandas environment 
and what it can do and then you can always proceed further of course i'll make other tutorials where i go into detail so don't worry 